On this year's ballot for the mayor's race is one of the youngest candidates to ever run for the office in Oxford. My community is able to embrace change, so I felt that it would be something good to do for the city. At just 18 years old, Brandon Pettis is taking the leap into local government after being fed up with the nation's political environment of the last few years. I feel like it's just a bunch of people arguing and not trying to help people which is what I believe that government is there for. But for Pettis, ambitious pursuits are nothing new. This is where all of my best memories have. He graduated so early from Oxford High School at age 16, and that's where he met one of his campaign staffers, Chloe Jones. We met freshman year of high school in our band program, and my first impression of him was, oh my gosh, who is this kid? He is like so ambitious. And last year, Pettis told his friends that he'd be running for mayor. Their reaction? Are you serious? But despite the criticism surrounding his youth, Pettis and his team say age doesn't affect the capability to lead. All across the United States right now, actually, younger people are running for offices and doing amazing things that only older people would have done back then. And I think that's really beautiful. He's really been one to wow the older people because they would be like, oh my gosh, you're so mature for your age and everything. And really, it's just a mindset and he has that mindset. Jones says her role is to make sure that people know what kind of person and leader Brandon is. He's strong, will not give up, resilient, and unapologetic about you know what he believes in and what he stands for, and he will not quit until you know he gets what he needs done. If he wins? I have not thought much about if I win, honestly making affordable housing more accessible and also bringing job industry to the city since everything is closing. And if he loses? Not immediately, but I'm going to go back to school and continue learning and this isn't the end for me here. It's just the beginning. Win or lose, Pettis says he wants to set an example for other kids who have a similar desire to institute change. I just want to let people know that anything is possible, whether or not, like you said, I win or lose. I still made it to the ballot, and that was monumental to me. Brandon says he'll be running as an independent in this year's mayoral race against incumbent mayor Robin Tannehill, who will also be running as an independent. And for more on Brandon, you can check out his website at pettisformayor.com. That is P-E-T-T-I-S, the number four, mayor.com. And that general election will take place this summer on June 8th. In Oxford, for Hotty Toddy News, I'm Matthew Henley.